Hi, does staying at home reduces our immunity? Well, here is the background information. We have two kinds of immunity, passive and active. Passive immunity happens when you get antibodies from another person, for example, mother to her child or when someone gets plasma donation. On the other hand, active immunity refers when our body makes antibodies, that is the body produces antibody against the infectious agents. This is what happens when we are exposed to the infectious agents like viruses or when we get vaccinated. So to get our body to produce antibody, we have to get ourselves exposed to you know, the infectious diseases or the vaccines. Studies as early as 1980s have shown that animals which are grown in you know, the germ-free environment, something called notobiotic facility, have very weak immune system. And when these animals get exposed, like mice or rabbits in the notobiotic facility are exposed to the real world, they get infections very fast. That is one reason why we should let our children go out and play with the dirt and other kids. I have written an essay on related topic, perils of over sanitation. You can see the link in the description section of this video. Yesterday, I delivered one webinar on, you know, many of these myths associated with COVID-19. For example, homemade remedies and immunity boosters doesn't work against the coronavirus. During the Q&A session, one of the participants named Rohit has asked me a very interesting question. As we stay indoors during this lockdown period, don't our immune system get compromised? First things first, this is a very well-known misinformation about COVID-19 perpetuated by two California doctors, Dan Erickson and Artin Masihi in a viral video. The dubious claim that these two physicians from California is spreading in the social media, including the YouTube, is that when we stay at home or when we do the physical distancing, it decreases our immune system. Here is Erickson's words. I don't want to hide in my home, develop a weak immune system and then come out to get the disease. A recent conspiracy theory video in the YouTube called Plandemic has quoted these two doctors to spread the misinformation and lies about this pandemic. Glad that the YouTube has finally removed that nonsense video. Friends, that argument is a complete stupidity. Of course, we have plenty of microbes here in our homes. More importantly, we have been exposed to these germs as young and throughout our lives and our bodies have already have the antibodies against these germs. Even if this lockdown gets extended for, you know, many years, nothing is going to happen. You can compare this situation with Antarctic or space explorers. Yes, I had been to Antarctica. Did I develop infections when I came back after my four months long stay in that mostly germ-free continent? No, I haven't. Are astronomers who return from ISS in space missions, are they more prone to infectious disease when they are back home? No way. Perhaps you have heard that the children who are born to C-sections, that is cesarean section during their delivery, are more prone to allergies. That's true. There is a theory in medicine that exposure to the microbes when children are growing up can affect their immune function when they become adults. The so-called hygiene hypothesis. But there is no known phenomenon when we stay indoors, our immunity fades. So is this lockdown bad for our children? Remember that we have plenty of microbes here in our homes. You can't compare our children with those notobiotic animals who are grown in germ-free environments. So they will be just fine. Please trust the science. A half-baked truth is more dangerous than plain lie. Remember George Bernard Shaw Scott, beware of false knowledge, it is more dangerous than ignorance. By the way, well-respected American Academy of Emergency Medicine, that is AAEM, and the American College of Emergency Physicians, that is ACEP, released a statement recently that jointly and emphatically condemned the Ericsson's and Masihi's videos for pushing misinformation. Have you seen weekly science show called Curiosity in my channel? Do watch and subscribe to my channel. See you again and have a nice day.